Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going fantastic. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to create a card for Newton's Nook Designs and we're using the Newton Loves Coffee stamp set. So cute. If you love coffee like I do, this is a match made in heaven. <laughs> we're going to start off by doing some stamping. Um, I'm stamping on some alcohol marker or copa marker friendly paper and I'm also stamping with Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Both of these um, are great for alcohol markers. So once I have my image stamped, I'm stamping Newton with his little nose on the table and then I'm also stamp. Uh, he has a little coffee cup in front of him. Um, I left the caps out for you guys and I, left, I listed the, num uh, the number of the cupbook markers that I used in the left hand corner. But I'll play a little music while I color and then when I'm done coloring, I will catch you back. Okay, coloring is all done, and he's so sweet. I just love him. Okay, zoom back out, and now we're gonna do some die cutting. So I'm gonna take the Fancy Edges Tag die set. This is nice because you can add any kind of decorative edge to your tags that you like, or you could layer them together. Um, a lot of options with this die set, and I'll list it below. Um, we're gonna die cut out our tag first. Just making sure he's centered and then I'll tape it down. Originally I was just going to leave him flat and then after I die cut him out um, I wanted a little more dimension so we're going to fix that in just a bit. Now we're going to add our fancy edge. We're going to take the zigzag. So cute. There's stitch detail too on the fancy edges which I love. And then I changed my mind. I thought we will use the scallop. <laughs> Scallops are a little bit more dainty um, and so I'm just making sure it's even on the left and right. Now, after I die cut it out, um, here's how I'm gonna add dimension. I'm gonna fussy cut Newton out on the very top. Now, um, Newton's Nook Designs does have um, a coordinating die set, and I'll list that below too, um, in case you guys prefer the, the dies, but it will do the same thing. It'll just cut Newton's out. And I thought this looked just like a tablecloth. I thought that was so cute, and it's a great way to add dimension too. Now, since I cut apart my tag, we're going to need to re-die cut it out. So I'm taking some more white cardstock. Then I'm also going to take some craft cardstock and we're going to die cut out two tags. And I'm going to die cut out the tag topper with uh, some blue cardstock and then also add that scalloped edge once more to the bottom of my tag. Okay, I have two pieces of colored cardstock, um, a teal and a brown, and we are going to do some stamping on these two pieces. For my teal one, we're going to treat our cardstock with my anti-static powder tool because we're going to do some heat embossing with white embossing powder. In the stamp set, there's lots of cute little coffee mugs um, and coffee cups. Um, I just took two of the mugs. One of them has a stripe across the middle, and then the other one has a um, paw print on there, so I thought it'd be perfect to cover in this area. I'm stamping wonky all over my panel kind of twisting and turning both of my coffee mugs so it fills in the area. And then on the areas that I missed, there's a little heart that I stamped on that panel. Now we're basically gonna do the same thing on the brown cardstock. 
Um, I figured we better emboss this now before uh, it dries up. So I'm taking my white embossing powder and just going over my image. But once we have it covered, I'll heat set that with my heat gun. And then this panel is ready to go. I love the white with the chocolatey brown and then the teal colors all together. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing with this, only using the solid image of the coffee mugs that are in the stamp set. There's th basically three solid images in the stamp set. A taller, co sorry, <laughs> a taller uh, coffee mug, a, s a shorter one, and then there's some coffee beans. We're going to go ahead and stamp this all over, creating a two-tone paper here with the coffee mugs. So we did the short one, now we're going to do the tall one. And then any open areas, we're going to go ahead and take the little coffee beans and just fill in. My panel, um, these panel sizes are four and a quarter inches wide. You want to do this on a four and a quarter inch wide. And then um, they are, I believe, two and a quarter inch tall. But it's all stamped in, two-toned. Love that. We'll set that. Um, aside to dry and grab our tag. We're going to adhere our white cardstock to our craft cardstock and then we're going to add our two um, stamped panels directly to our card base. Kind of layering them, you can see there. I want to add my tag topper to the very top, just using my tape runner. And then after we have this done, I wanted to bring in some more red, so I had some red ribbon. This has little X's on it, and I thought we'd add um, some little some kisses to our card. <laughs> We're just going to wrap it around the seam on the very bottom of the brown and the teal colored cardstock, tying the bow off to the left. I love this color combination, and it really brings out the red in our mug. <laughs> just even up our bow. Okay, next, I already added foam adhesive behind Newton. Um, before we add him though, I wasn't happy with the craft cardstock. So we're gonna do a switcheroo. -y. I'm gonna use the same brown cardstock that I used for my tone on tone that's already on the card. Just trim down a smaller piece, added adhesive behind it, and we're just gonna tuck it behind our scalloped edge on the craft cardstock, and then we'll just flip it over and trim off the excess. Pretty easy fix. But if I were to do a die cut it out with the, the brown cardstock, it would have been a little bit easier. Now I'm going to add Newton, and I'm lining him up on the scallop so the scallop edges uh, match. And this gives me some dimension, and I think it looks like a tablecloth. Again, I think it looks adorable. <laughs> okay, next up we are going to, I did add some of the coffee beans just below the coffee mug, and then I um, trimmed a small piece of white twine and added it to the to the top of my tag there. Okay, now we're going to stamp our sentiment. I chose the sentiment in the stamp set says coffee is always a good idea. I'm stamping it with brown ink on some white cardstock and then we're going to use the Newton's Nook Speech Bubble die set and die cut out our sentiment. Um, normally I die cut out my speech bubble first. Um, and then stamp my sentiment because it's solid, but I got lucky. I centered it pretty good. <laughs> now, if you asked me to do it again, I probably couldn't do that. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and add foam adhesive behind the sentiment and place it to the left of my tag here so it's overhanging just a bit. And then we'll flip over our tag and add some foam tape behind it. Just remove the release paper. Kind of tuck our white twine behind it so it's not loose and then um, place our tag on our card base. Now originally I was going to add some some red sequins, but I thought since we had that little heart in the stamp set, um, we'll add a little love to our card. So I'm taking that little heart, um, we're going to ink it up with some Memento Tuxedo Black ink because I'm going to use the same Copic markers that I used for the polka dots on my coffee mug. We'll stamp one above Newton's head and then two above the sentiment here. And then we'll do a little shading with the same colors, the RV69. We'll shade to the left side of our little heart first. Easy peasy to do. When the heart's this small, I think two shades um, of markers are perfect. After my shading's added, I'm going to use my RV29 and just fill in the hearts. Super cute. And it brings up that red too. And we'll do our last one.
Um, next we're going to add some Nouveau Crystal Drops. This is Morning Dew. It's like a glossy accents, but it, to me it's like a little bit more dimension, uh, a little more dimensional. I'm going to add a little to the coffee in our mug, and then I'm going to fill in our hearts. You can see it dries, um, it goes on cloudy, but when it dries, it dries nice and shiny and clear. But that's my card for today, guys, using the Newton's Nook Designs. Um, Newton Loves Coffee Stamp Set. It is so cute. I hope you enjoyed my project. Everything's listed below in case you guys want to check it out. Have a fantastic, fabulous day. Thanks for joining me, and we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.